This is um, a tutorial about submitting your TREB data access agreements for your website to have listings appear on them. Uh, so you can go start by going, opening your browser and typing in this URL. Once you get to your TREB, to your TREB agreements, you're going to log in with your TREB number, PIN and authenticator, just like you're going into Stratus and sign on. Once you're in, you'll get to the active uh, tab and you will go to start new. You're going to be submitting three agreements out of the four listed here. So the first, the third and the fourth, you do not need the second IDX third party information document. So we'll start with data license agreement and continue. You're going to have quite a few boxes that you're going to check and agree and acknowledge different terms and conditions. Um, I suggest you either take the time to read through them or you just check them, it's, it's your preference. So we'll start with the first one, double check the information uh, for your name and your membership and your, your uh, brokerage and address of the brokerage. You do not need to do anything. You're likely your email that shows up is the correct one that you've registered with TREB. And the first box you're going to, the first radio button really is brokerages listing. So click on brokerages listings. Check the next box that you're acknowledging and warranting. And scroll down to the third party box. Here you're going to choose apostrophe solutions. So this is an alphabetical order. You can just hit the A on your keyboard. It takes you to the A's and look for apostrophe solutions corp. Your third party contact, you're going to enter Ali Riaziat. The third party email will be Ali at apostrophe solutions.com. So I can make this a little bit bigger so you can see how to spell the names. And so you get the right information in there. So Ali at apostrophe solutions.com and Ali Riaziat. Check the bottom box and send to third party. So that's the first data license agreement that you've uh, submitted. Go back to start new. Now we're going to submit the IDX data agreement. Click on the radio button and continue. Once again, you're going to have check boxes. Um, you're going to have to acknowledge and agree. Double check the information, which will probably not change from one agreement to the next, but you just want to make sure that everything is correct. Once again, you're going to choose apostrophe solutions. Corp. Ali Riaziat and Ali at apostrophe solutions.com. Check the box. And in your subscriber website URL number one, you're going to put the full URL of your uh, website. So in this case, um, I am doing this for John Shabahang. And so he is john.shabahang.heritagerealtor.ca. So you want the full, actually, let's put the S in here, the full URL. So you can open your um, website in a separate browser and just copy and paste the URL from there. If you have a custom domain that you plan to um, associate with your remarketer website, you are also going to include that in your uh, agreements. In this case, I have www.johnshab.com. So we'll need both of these um, to make sure that if one doesn't work, the other one's going to work and check the box and another box in the bottom and then send to third party. Back to start new. 
And now we're going to submit the VOW data agreement, which is practically identical to the second one we just did, the IDX one, but you just have to go through the motions, unfortunately. So we've got the same information. We're going to choose apostrophe solutions. Ali Riaziat, Ali at apostrophe solutions.com. No, I didn't save it. HTTPS and colon forward slash forward slash John dot shabahang dot heritage realtor dot CA. HTTPS www.donshab.com. So if you do have a custom domain that you want associated with your remarketer account, you can contact me and I can help you uh, do the DNS configurations and work with remarketer to get that associated with your account. Just check all the rest of the boxes. There's another three. And now you say send to AVP. That's the, the three agreements out of the four we've just submitted. You can go back to active and you'll see that these agreements are now sitting with third party. So basically what will happen is you will send these documents um, to the third party, which is the uh, apostrophe solutions, which is the remarketer guys, they will approve it. Then it will get um, sent to our broker of record, Isabel Sardison and she will approve them. And once they go from her, they go to TREB and then TREB approves them. Throughout this process, you will receive uh, several emails notifying you of the process going to the next person. And, and then ultimately you'll be told that they're active. Um, once they're active, they should, uh, then your website should start to display um, listings. So you may notice your brokerage listings first. Um, and if you wanted to now add MLS numbers to your listing manager and to, to feature some listings, you should, you should be able to um, add them with, with, now that you've got the permissions. If you're still finding that the, um, uh, the listings aren't showing, um, you can contact me and I will work to uh, follow up and make sure that all the uh, processes are in place. I double check all the um, agreements and make sure they're good and then work with remarketer to make sure that they've got the feeds turned on sometimes there's a bit of a delay so you just may have to maybe give it a day but if after let's say 12 or so hours um, it's still not working let me know and i will i will get it fixed for you so basically that's it there's there's not a lot to it um it it looks pretty intimidating but it's um it's actually pretty easy because a lot of it is repetitive. So hopefully that helps. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, please reach out to me at customer.support at c21.ca. Thank you so much for watching. If you like our video, please hit the like button, the subscribe, and even the little bell to get notifications just so you can stay in touch and watch more of these great videos.